Hello everyone, welcome to the Excel Pivot Table Playground. In this video, we are going to create a histogram. The questions that we will be answering is, find the count of batsmen that scored runs in various range. For example, we want to find how many batsmen scored between, let's say 150 and 200. Similarly, how many batsmen scored below 50 and so on and so forth. That sort of an answer we are looking for. And in terms of concepts covered, we are going to do automatic grouping of number and then creating a histogram. So let's get started with the data. In the data we have batsmen, match ID and how many runs they scored in that particular match. Now we want to know which of these batsmen basically scored within a certain score range and we want to know that spread of it and the, the spread that will be there will be looking something like this. Right, their runs range 0 to 29 runs, 25 to 49 runs, 50 to 74 runs, so on and so forth. And as you can see, there are a lot of batsmen that have scored between 0 and 24, and there are other batsmen that have scored beyond this particular thing. The chart that we're going to create will be looking something like this. So let's get started by inserting a pivot table on this. I'm going to insert a pivot table here. Say okay. Let me just expand it. Now since I want the counts of batsmen that have scored between certain range, I'm going to take the batsmen to the values area and then I'll basically get the count of batsmen. Now, obviously some of the batsmen are repeated because they are played in multiple matches, uh, but the idea here is to just get the spread. Then I'm going to take the runs to the rows area and you will see that it will basically list unique runs that were scored by each of the batsmen. Now, this is not useful for us. However, it will become useful if we say group and then group it in such a way that we are able to look at it meaningfully. I'm going to break it in terms of 25 runs bucket and say OK. So as you can see, we've already got the data that we were looking for. Now what we can do is add a pivot chart on top of this and say OK. I'm going to remove this fields here and I'm just going to name this as histogram. Okay, and once that is done, can remove this also. I can then go to design tab and then change the design. I can also add the data labels here. That way I'm now I have now prepared the information that we are looking for. And this is how we basically create a histogram using pivot tables. Super fun, super easy to create these sort of charts using pivot tables. In the next videos, we'll explore some more advanced topics in pivot tables such as calculated field and calculated items. Uh, so please do watch out for the next video. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.